goes. Bean man here. How are you guys all doing today? Today, we're going to show you guys, we're going to go over all of the camo swaps. I'm going to show you guys it done on console. And I'm going to also show you guys how to pull the cool variants that some people have asked us to pull. But at the same time, I'm going to show you guys on PC, this one here. I'm going to have this showing you guys how to get AFK Battle Royale wins, guys. So what that means is here, your challenges, your mastery challenges. As you see here, we've got 300 victories for Battle Royale. I'm going to show you how to get these AFK. So you can get these AFK while we're getting the doing the camo swap I'm showing you guys what going over the camo shop we'll have this getting AFK battle royale wins to be able to get this victory calling card here AFK pretty much all that you need to do for that is winning a clash game counts as um as a battle royale win for these challenges guys so all you need to do is go into clash and go AFK and if your team wins then you guys get a battle royale win so we'll leave that in clash afk while we turn on to the consoles and we will show you guys how to do it on console so what we will do is i'll have this down in the bottom corner down in the bottom corner doing the afk so people can see it afk and then i'll switch to view so that you can see the big screen will be my console and I'll be on Xbox and that'll be doing it with another console so there will be two Xbox One X's doing it with each other and the PC won't be involved so let's go along and do that so all we got to do for this to make this work is we just need to go into game and we just need to put damage into someone and then you can go for AFK so once we go AFK for that we will you will get kicked if you don't damage people okay so don't try and go AFK without kicking people now once that's set up now we'll go and set up the xboxes now if you guys hear it start sounding like um the jet engines right next to the mic that's the xbox series x it sounds like a jet's taking off just randomly whenever cod's playing so just get through and get that up On the bottom corner will be the computer that's in going AFK. This is the one that's going in AFK, and the big screen is going to be that is our Xbox Series X, and we're going to be doing the camera swap on that screen, and that's going to be doing it with another console. So I'll just go like this, and we will mute that desktop noise. Hey Neil, cheers for stopping in buddy. We just got to put some damage into someone to set this one up to go AFK and then we can carry on with these consoles. I just had the timing but now it doesn't seem to work. I've been trying the past two days and can't get it again. What um, my best tip for the timing guys is if you if you are someone who's doing it with like how I'm doing it with two you've got control of both the consoles you're the one pressing A on the mode and the one doing the spamming of the mouse um, to make the sound T the T sound T that the, the that the length of that sound is the gap that you need so if you're to press a and then make that t sound and then press the mouse you'll get the timing quite close so it's almost like click to click <laughs> but fast so i'll just get in and i'll just shoot do damage with this and then we'll get onto that Thorben, good day Thorben. how you doing buddy welcome i just need to get in and damage someone Properly. Then we can go full AFK. Okay, now this computer can go full AFK now, and now we can move to the PCs. Okay, so what we're going to start out with is on this, is we might as well just put DM Ultra straight onto this. So we're just going to put DM Ultra onto a modern warfare gun. So we'll start out by changing the camo. 
Now, to do this, guys, you will, you do need a mouse connected to your console, okay? Do not try and do this without a mouse connected to your console. It won't work for you. Um, we will just move this a bit. To there. I have the same problem. It doesn't work with it about timing of course yes it's all about the timing that's the that's yeah that's all there really is to say so we'll, our other you won't be able to see the timing with our other console with this because i can't show you guys the console as well so, so i can't show you guys my two consoles i can only show you one console but we'll show you that it works with the two consoles and then we'll swap back and do it with the pc afterwards hey eh, guys oh Oh yeah, I showed you how many wins. We're currently at um, 295 BR wins, okay? So if our guys win this on the PC right now, after that PC AFK game, we're going to have 296 Battle Royale wins, okay? Um, now, and we'll do it on the Xbox first, and then we'll, after that, we'll go through to the PC after we've shown you guys the AFK Battle Royale win. And then we'll go through and show you guys the cool variants, how to pull that cool, most expensive variant in the game, etc., etc., stuff like that. Okay, see that got kicked. We didn't do enough damage. Still trying to work out what's stopping that one from getting kicked yet. That's what that one's working on in the corner there. So one just damaging once is not enough. Okay, so we got to friend our buddy. Whisper, why is it not allowing me to whisper? I hate when the game does that. There's no reason for it not to allow me to whisper. I only want to do it via whisper because it's so much more convenient than doing it through the Xbox menu. Oh, there we go. You can do it other ways, guys, but this is just so much more convenient than having to go through the Xbox menu to do a whisper, being that your hand's already on the mouse. So we're coming to here, and we join. Come over to here, come over to here, come over to here. We press A on the storage chunk clash, and then make the T sound, and then press A. T. Oops. Oops. I'm holding the wrong controller. Okay, T didn't work. See, if it didn't bring it up, that there, we were spamming it too slow. Okay, guys? So this is how I can help you guys the most, is if you don't bring up the screen, you've done it too slow. If you bring up the screen, then you and it goes away, you've done it too fast, okay? So, oops, haven't joined. And again, remember guys, we're on console right now. We're on console. So this is being done on Xbox. See, that was too slow again. So I need to speed it up a bit faster. And this is how you find it. You just gotta speed up. And then if you do it too fast, you do it a little bit slower. Oops. Still too slow. On Xbox, um, the gap's way smaller than PC, so my T sound isn't the timing for on my Xbox. So my T sound is the timing for my PC, not for my Xbox. So it seems my Xbox is a lot closer. Okay, so that was too soon okay if it comes up and goes away it was too soon so i gotta have a tiny like a tiny bit of a gap see the thing is if you're doing this on your own, having to do it over and over again isn't much hassle because well, it'll take you a total of a game of 
of Clash. Hang on, let me check it and jump into this and stop getting kicked to. Um, it'll take you like the time of a game of Clash to get it, and then you have cross camo guns. But once you get the timing down, you can start to crack it. See, that was too slow again. And then once you figure it out, then you'll be able to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, guys. I'll just show you guys that it can be done on console for those that doubt it. And then we'll swap back to the PC because it's way easier on PC, from, in my opinion. And Paris. Cheers, buddy. Look at how beautiful this gun is. Gotta love it, eh? I made yesterday three obsidian guns. Yeah, yeah. Obsidian looks absolutely awesome on anything with lights up stuff on it, eh? That should be enough. That should be able to survive now. Shouldn't get kicked, surely. Now, oh, I don't have it on this gun. I was going to show you guys the gun and the blueprint straight away to be able to pull the cool stuff. Pulled it, explained it way too soon then. Don't even try to do it on console without a mouse. I tried for two days and I couldn't do it. And then I plugged in the mouse and about a couple tries later I got it. And then I got it quite easily. So with the mouse, you can do it. If it's possible on controller, it's that hard that I couldn't even do it. Oops, I didn't go into the mode. There we go. So that's it on console, as you see, that's on console. So you can do it on console, it's just way harder, eh guys, as you know. Way harder. I just took a cheap Bluetooth mouse, yeah. So as I say, it's not even, it doesn't even take you the time of one game of Clash to crack it. As long as you're, if you're on your own and you can do it with between like two consoles or a console and a PC, you can do it on the console as you just seen there. We just done it on the Xbox Series X with the, but have a mouse connected. And yeah. I can't really give much more tip other than the, the sound, the time it takes you to make the sound t, t, t sound from T is the amount of time, the gap that you need. So T, <laughs> that's the best tip I can get, is press the button, make that T sound and press the next button. Attachment skin, attachment skin swap, what? Now, what's our score at? Hang on, guys. Let me focus on this. I'll try and win this one for us so we don't have to do this another go. Um, we'll just swap to... Full desktop. And then we can go back. And once I've got this... Um, showing you guys that winning a clash gets you the battle royale. Um, then we can go and I can show you guys how to pull some cool ass looking variants and stuff. They look pretty awesome. Use Clash. Don't need Plunder. Use any mode. It does not matter. The mode itself does not matter. Absolutely any mode. The modes that we were just using then were Clash. But um, you can use a Battle Royale even. Or a Fortune's Keep or anything. So 
so you must have the camo to get it on another gun yes you must have the camo if you guys got any questions guys now's the time to ask because i can actually really read the chat it can be hit again No, I was doing AFK EX yesterday and the plunder gets removed. Oh, fuck. I assume that was I turned off him because I thought he was dead. I fell for BR, the loading, switching screens. Takes longer. Maybe we'll have more success on this time. I've done it today using the BRs so I can tell you from experience there's no difference between the BR and the storage town um, the only difference is that obviously you have to pre-click into the BRs to be able to actually select the mode the uh, thing because always you'll just get the screen and it won't pull you through you have to actually start a BR mode but that's just common sense Hey man, I appreciate the Elden Ring glitches where you skip around his quest. <laughs> I for real need a great sword. Yeah, well, I was, um, I actually turned Elden Ring back on this morning. Had a little go with it. I want to get back into it. It's one of those games, though, that it's, once you stop, you kind of don't go back because it's so blimmin' and it's so bloody just stomps on you so badly <laughs> that game makes you feel so small it's not funny it was way more successful with one click attempts yes it was originally found with one click but um i was way more successful with spamming um because originally i found it on console i found it on xbox series x um, and the, the, what made me find it was playing around, well, obviously determination because I knew it was possible because I was doing it in custom games for the, um, when I made the CDL method that we released. So I knew it was possible to, um, UI stack by clicking at the right time. And it was only a matter of finding a, a way to make it so that it was, um, not going to go th close it and bring you up a different into a different screen which i eventually found so then i just knew so it was just a matter of sticking to it until we found it worked those bosses get harder though and play through yeah and and the fact that now that they've um nerfed half the cool fun shit in the game people that experienced all that super cool shit the game's not what it was when i was playing it back then my first playthrough of elden ring was super cool because we had the sword of night and flame and i had that right through i killed um i used that to kill the elden beast my first playthrough before it got nerfed so then obviously i had um after that i had all of the games in the game pretty much from defeating an end game and that to play with and then i was able to rune farm and everything with the sword from the elder beast does the cw duke glitch still work where you can put them like them yes it does well last i checked but i haven't checked in a lot week or so but i assume it does they don't really patch it damn it we got the feet can you afk in this mode um i thought you could but maybe not maybe that got fixed i thought if you damaged them but we sort of afk but not really Do you think we can get banned? Nah, you're not getting banned for anything. Right? No, nah, you're not getting banned, mate. Not at all. Okay, so let's go and do this. What we're going to do here is show you guys this one. So we'll go through this gun here. When it loads in. This gun here 
with this here is what has the look for those that don't know this was the reward that you got for buying both kong and godzilla's pack so practically this gun was worth 60 dollars or something which makes it the most expensive gun in the game not the coolest but the most expensive and all it really is is just the stock take that stock off and it's just a normal gun so the entire entirety of the gun pretty much and the look of the gun is by putting on the stock you can pull the stock if you equip the stock off this variant that i'm going to show you guys so we'll come through and i'll show you guys the variant that you gotta pull it with come into here come to here come to your ak 74 us and it is this one here Benu penubra carbon and you equip the stock off the off the penubra carbon and that is what will put the stock onto that other gun whatever it is i think it's the owen gun or well gun and then you'll have that built so we'll go through and we'll do that for you just to show you guys and then you can go through and you can put obsidian on it and then you can go through and put this cool suppressor on it and you'll have it looking like that i built that originated from that so we'll equip this then we will go through we will select um a whisper and private it'll be way faster on here because my timing works better for pc so what were we on we were doing okay so i have to go to black ops we want to go to black ops to here this gun but it doesn't matter you don't have to equip that gun just okay and then join come through come through come through and do our test sound for the timing didn't get it too soon but as you see if you're by yourself doing this even if you get it wrong a couple times it's still quite fast too fast too fast okay i gotta start making that sound in my head <laughs> that is the time that is the timing <laughs> beamer did you try the new stg blueprint with the camo yes i can show it to you in a second here we go just like that you kind of can feel it once you got it and then to find it it is here that there leave out and now we have it just like that we now have the blueprints base and we just equipped it off that ak 70 for you that i showed you guys so now we've got that you can pretty much go through equipped obsidian on it and if you want you can go through and cook find the cool mercury suppressor but that'll just be off another gun we can go through and find that if you guys want but then go through and equip obsidian on it and you've got that gun the mate is a sound in the head yes <laughs> sound in the head made it for me too yes yeah, see the second i started saying the sound it actually gets it it's 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 the perfect timing <laughs> Oh, you gotta apply the owen stock to the ak no sorry i what i done is i applied that ak-47 new so what we ever done sorry so what i done just then is i got the base owen and then i got went and i equipped the ak 7 for you into custom game into private and then i equipped this one stock off this variant here and I put this stock off it, which was this stock onto the Owen, okay? And then that brings 
the ver that variance version of the Owen game. So we'll go through and we'll do that again for you guys. Oh, well, actually, we've shown you that one. Let's go through and show another one. So we'll go through the PPSH. So this time we're going to do the PPSH, right? So we've got a base PPSH. And we're going to go through and put a ba uh, barrel onto that. So we want to back out of here. Come in. Come in, come in. And we're going to go to our M4A ones because we've got so many. About 34 of them. And then do our joining. Is that attachment glitch still working? Yeah, everything's still working. Can we swap attachments? Do our t sound. T Oops, they weren't on the right playlist. T Too soon. So you can make this Owen blueprint without owning it. Yes, that's what I. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I literally just equipped the base Owen, and I just made that blueprint from not owning the Owen blueprint. And that blueprint that we just pulled, made from the Owen gun, is the most expensive blueprint in the game. <laughs> so there you go. You can go get it for free. So, t no, too soon. So yeah. And that is, and then if you put it um, here, we'll just show you, it. if you put um, obsidian on it, then it ends up looking like this, which looks really cool. And then you, f you can find that glowing suppressor as well. Is there an easier way? Probably, but I don't have it at the moment. This is the one I'm using, this is the way I know. Do you think there's gonna be a new operator glitch anytime soon? I don't know about soon. Anything's possible though. There's no easier way out at the moment. I recommend just um, getting your timing down because this is, um, isn't is that hard once you get your timing down. Unless you don't have to... If, you have, if, you, if you're trying to do this with someone else, yeah, it's going to be annoying. slow see and we have the base PPSH um, equipped online right not any variant of it but we're gonna pull like the spiked icy variants barrel oops so for those that are confused so we've just got the base PPSH in here and we're going to go on and we're going to equip the barrel but we don't have that spiky barrel I think it's here or something we won't have it but we're going to go along and equip it anyway because the, the equivalent barrel is on the M4A1 and we'll show you guys what variant of M4A1 pulls it soon way too soon that time see how it even sat on the screen still just way too soon that's all that is if it goes away it was too soon yeah way too soon Fortune's Keep seems to have a different, I think someone else said that, has a different, um, a slightly different thing. So that's the timing throwing off. I would use Storage Town. I've found it most successful. And Battle Royale seems to have the same. Um, Fortune Keep's playing list seems to 
I don't know, just that I just used it those two times there and it seemed way odd behaving. Like it seemed it'll still be doable, it's just throwing your timing right off. So when you do it, always use the same mode so you get your timing for whatever mode. Yeah, see this is different timing. So this will work. Also, if you want more time to be able to equip something, make sure you try and choose a mode that's less popular so it takes longer to find the game of, and then you have more time to decide what, what, what attachment you're going to put on. Damn, that one should have got it, but it felt like it should have. mode would you suggest though any mode i'm just using storage it doesn't matter to be honest you're just going to have to get the timing for whatever it takes to put to that mode so whatever mode you choose stay with that mode hey x buddy good morning see so for me at the moment i had um got my timing for storage town clash so i don't want to start trying to do the other modes because it messes it up it's possible because i've done it in the battle royale and the fortunes keep but it's just different timing How's it going, man? By the way, if you want more, you can turn off crossplay on Xbox through account settings. Um, yeah, but I can't for what I'm doing because I'm crossplaying a PC with Xbox, so you turn it off and you can't join them. I think. So you can if you're using two of the same console. can get hard to hit sometimes I guess this is one of the hardest camo swap glitches yeah well that's the thing you know um, as they patch stuff yeah you, you're gonna end up the only things left to find is the harder ones that haven't been found yet so that's what that's kind of what we get into is well we end up looking into areas that we haven't looked at before that's how this got found you know it, otherwise if it wasn't this hard it would have been found a lot earlier type of stuff and once this goes I mean it might be lucky and find something else that's easier but it's not much chance you know what I mean you tend to have to get more and more technical to be able to get through get what you want done Let's try. Oh, you can hear that. Yeah, that is what I was saying at the start. You'll hear that start happening. That's the Xbox Series X just sitting there in the background, just sitting on Clash, Storage Town doing the Clash. That is the Xbox Series X trying to take off. It's crazy. It's way louder than my aircon and everything. <laughs> I think something's wrong with it because I um, play um, Cold War and, it's, and within about one minute of Cold War being on it just crashes and and shuts down my console and says that it's overheated 
and same with Vanguard. If I go to the shop menu in Vanguard, my Xbox Series X shuts down and says it's overheated just by touching the shop menu, the shop tab in Vanguard. So I don't even turn Vanguard on. <laughs> Damn it. I was too slow. Trying to time things while talking and reading. This doesn't seem to be happening. Not even my PS4 is that loud. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid loud. But there's nothing I can do because I have to have a running to do this glitch. <laughs> Xbox One X, my both both of my Xbox One X's and my PC and my aircon and everything running all together isn't even half as loud as this one Xbox Series X's. And it's not even doing anything easier to hit on console or PC. For me, I find it easier on PC because it's less lag. So it's way quicker to get back into it to do it a second try. See, when I fail, it's only a, like what? 15 seconds and I'm back at it trying again. So it doesn't take long to have a second go. Look, I'm already back at it. Oh, see, that was a completely different screen. It just went straight to there. Um, yeah, but when I fail, you know, on PC, it, it switches through all the menus and stuff like that so much faster and fluider than a console. It doesn't take long to get back into it. <laughs> I'm doing it by myself, yeah. So my hand's on the console's controller. I press A and then I spam this. I've got the controller for the console in one hand and the mouse in the other hand for the PC. And two screens in front of me. And it's that hard. It's still that hard when you're doing it like that. Like it's a really hard one. Well, does turning off crossplay work better, you think? I mean, that's going to help you. It's All that's going to do is help give you longer time to decide what you want to equip once you're in that menu. That's not going to actually affect this thingy because all this is is the timing between pressing two buttons. See, like that. Now we want to find the barrel here, and then we want to find the barrel that is the Mastercraft. See, all of that, all that thing, the, the mode is going to give you more time to do this part where you got to choose what you're going to put on. Damn it, so we didn't get a Mastercraft barrel from this, so it mustn't be from the M4A one. So it would give you more time to make that choice there. That's all um, that the mode and how long it will take to go into a game would affect. I don't even know what gun I used to pull that mask off. Maybe I used the Krig. Uh, I got millions of guns. I can't. I can't retain what I use for what to be honest with you um <laughs> maybe I use the Krig or maybe I use the AK again good feeling right <laughs> yeah it is you should have you, you just imagine the feeling when you first hit it the very very first time <laughs> even better feeling <laughs> So explain the timing one last time. You press A and wait about half a second till you spam. Say, make the sound of a T. The T sound, T. The, the length of time that it makes you to make that sound, T, is how long you wait. 
l legit that sound so you're pressing it it's make that sound t and then press so bing t bing, bing t like that fast like faster than that <laughs> you get it like you're pressing it pretty much but it's the second tip so you get one tap in between So the t is in between, so tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. I find, I found I've had a higher success rate when spamming it because um, I think um, the lag seems to help and the times that it works it almost lags a little bit and spamming it kind of helps that little lag bit which which lags it in it's deciding to i think that lagging it out a little bit kind of helps it decide to go with what it chose what you're spamming like like i'll do it now i'll just click it once like it does work doing the one click The only reason I tell people to spam it is because I've had it's a higher success rate for me. But it is only about just clicking that opening at the right time. You can choose to just click it once. But the thing is, if you've got a controller, the other side of it is if you've got a controller connected to your um, console and you do that, the first click um, doesn't actually click it actually just activates switches to mouse if you've touched your console that's why spamming will make sure that it clicks as well so if you're on console spam don't click once because that's probably the one click just to make your it activate that it's using a mouse switch from controller to mouse Yeah, so pretty much imagine three buttons here. Bang, bang, bang. So you're pressing the one, bang in between. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. If you're doing it all by yourself. If you're not doing it all by yourself and you're trying to do it with someone else, <laughs> God help you, I don't know. I'm not in that situation and I wouldn't want to be in that situation. Tap, tap, tap. And that was too slow. So tap, tap, tap. Why isn't there just an option to transfer cameras to any gun? I've grinded those cameras. So, yeah, right. Or even a paid option to be able to buy that option. Like they should at least just give it that option that if you've ground it, you can pay a shop bundle to be able to buy the ability to fucking cross camo. Eh? They should release a cross camo bundle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I bet you if they released a cross camo ability bundle and sold it for 10,000 quad points, <laughs> they would get rich fast. <laughs> oh, my other console went into a game. Did I manage to equip the PPSH? Ah, uh, yeah, we did, but we didn't have the Mastercraft barrel um, from the M4A one. So we're going to look for this one. And now my console's gone in game. Can we equip locked weapons with this? No. Um, we can show you um, what you can equip. Like, here, we've shown you how to pull with variants, so we don't need to carry on with that, I guess. We will show you guys EOD. What you can do is if you come here and you see how Vanguard, on Vanguard weapons, if you come into here and you see, like, okay, that's a bad example, it's hard to show you. Okay, where's one that's low level? Here, you see this, it's low level? It's only level 12, right? With Vanguard weapons, it doesn't matter their level. No matter what, even if they're level one or locked, if you can get into this screen here, you can save custom mods, guys. So that is the key, okay? So with Vanguard weapons, you can go and you can equip... Why is it doing this? Oh, here, yeah, overkill. I thought I got rid of that. 
Bruh, I thought I just got rid of that bird. Um, come to here, and we can actually save merely weapons if you've got, like I say, you've got a store blueprint, okay, to be able to access the armory of them, okay. So, like for the sledgehammer, there's one in the battle pass, and that is this one here. It comes in the battle pass, so you can use this glitch to save to camo swap onto it and save blueprints of this one, like you see here, even if it's locked. Okay, so we're gonna go and show you guys that right here. Eh? So we'll go along and we'll save the blueprint of that. All you need to do is that, it's quite simple. So obviously that one's in the second slot, in our first. We'll come through to here. Into our weapons tab, come through, come through. To anyone, anyone, it does not matter at all at this point, okay? All that you're doing at this point is, you know how you normally would have a here to open up and to stack this screen? You would be at the screen before. Well, we wanna stack this screen here, okay? So all we need to do is stack from here and we're stacking this button right here. So this button right here, gunsmith tab, is the button that we're stacking. And then when we stack that in, it's gonna bring us to the, um, to the screen to be able to just save that merely as a blueprint guys so it's not hard it's really easy so we'll come to here and they press a and we try and stack that screen okay but also you're also going to be able to do it with locked weapons okay like as long as you've got one blueprint for it okay so like the blixen and, but you can't get in to be able to save a variant but if you can get into the get into there oops so we'll show you guys with the blixen i've already explained how to get this one so pretty much you you're gonna you're gonna know okay just stack that one screen that i told you guys to stack and you will see it's self-explanatory once you're on that screen that's stacked you have the option to save it as a blueprint you can save it okay it's really dead simple and yeah it's just like anything, you'll have the option here. And you can literally just save them as a mod, okay? And as soon as you're on the screen, and you just stack, so you just stack the gunsmith screen together. Now same with this, we'll stack this, but you can do this with anything, you can go through, and same with the, now this works with, obviously with the Vanguard guns, because you can save locked weapons of them. So we'll come out, come into here. Vanguard into here and then we can just anything we can just stack something from here but we want to stack the screen here so we would come into here and we would join our buddy obviously Let's just re-whisper that they press o uh, but we need to stack that Obviously, it's going to be our timing, our tit timing. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. So, this one here. Tap, tap, tap. When I say it, it's actually slower than what you need to do it. <laughs> I can think that sound faster than I can say that sound, if you guys get what I mean. So that was too soon. soon and yeah it's just an endurance test really i guess this um glitch i think so that would be sick if we could have ar and smg with ghost yeah out of 12 tries i managed to hit three weapons yeah that's pretty much what it is a uh, it is like and then you will if you sit there doing it for for an hour or so you will start getting it more and more often and at the end of that hour you'll probably be hitting one in 
one and four tries to one and two tries stuff like that and then the next day you have to start all over again and build up you getting good again that's it's one of those ones Have you been on Devil's Lettuce? On what? Have I been on Devil's Lettuce? <laughs> Is there a way to level guns up fast? Yes. Uh, if you've got a buddy, grind and plunder. Devil's Lettuce. That's a new one. Sounds like it's evil. Do you enter storage charm before you press the camo? Yes, you're pressing the storage charm A and then like literally making that to sound and then spamming the A. So just uh, literally the gap is the sound is the time that takes you to get that gap. That is how fast. Just like that. See, and then once we're in, we can literally just save a custom mod. And this is of a locked gun. So you can save and of the locked DLC gun. You don't even have to do the challenges to unlock it. Just get it out of the battle pass. And there's one in the current battle pass at the moment, you know. And if you guys don't have the battle pass, remember, jump onto the Discord because I'm often giving it away. Often. And I mean often. <laughs> almost daily giving them away <coughs> hey Connor yeah awesome days come to an end almost now it's blooming after midnight 12 30 <coughs> weed man <laughs> What did I miss? I know it took 30 tries, no, I got what you mean. And you need your ears to hear yourself, so. Is the T sound coming from the controller or the mouse? <laughs> it's coming from your mind. No, the T is the, is that, is your, it's your timer. So the amount of time it takes you to make the t sound is the gap between pressing A on the controller to select the mode and you spamming A, uh, spamming the mouse to select whatever you're trying to open. The gap between those two presses is the sound t. That is the amount of time between pressing the two that you need. It's not pressing them at the exact same time. There's about this, that time in between. Can we do this with MW launches and melees to save blueprints? No, not this one. I'll have to work on another way to do that one. Like, the other way we're trying, I was trying to do it is um, this way here. See, so we're in online, right? And see how we got this custom. And I was wanting, see, because we, I can go this way. Wait, I got that? Wait, guys. Guys. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Holy shit. You guys can still unlock this camo. I didn't have that when the event finished. I've just been playing Storage Town today. And now we've got that. I think that's the one from Storage Town, isn't it? Because I haven't played Fortune's Keep at all, so I didn't get the Fortune's Keep one. And now this is here. I had, didn't have this earlier today, and the only thing I've been doing is just playing Storage Town. I've played Storage Town a couple games today when I was testing out whether it was doing this. So, you guys can still get your camo for fortunes keep and for storage town kills 
so go get that now i can go camera swap that over okay let's swap that over i'm gonna go and chuck that onto something oh that's cool new camera hey i wasn't even gonna get that that's the one from plunder yeah but i didn't have it because i only had 20 kills because in plunder oh, there was no way i was gonna fucking just drop storage town it was aids to drop it it was just complete aids to drop it i didn't want to do that i had no interest in dropping in to try and grind out the 100 kills in, in storage town and plunder to do it so i had um i was only at 20 kills and then today they've got storage town as the as this and now i've got that camo because I've gotten heaps of kills in storage time. Even though the event's finished, to be able to unlock it, we can still unlock it now. Which is why I'm saying it's interesting, because the event's finished. But I've unlocked that camo after the event finished. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a glitch. It's just like, you know, cool. <laughs> if you didn't realize you can do it and you want that camo get in there and grind storage town because you can still get it and it's 100 times easier to get it in that than it was in plunder can you do the attachment glitch live yeah i have been doing it i can do it again if you want we literally just done it to get this what attachment oh you're wanting the um you're wanting an invisible barrel i'll do an invisible barrel on I assume you're wanting an invisible barrel. SPR? Is there a way to get my blueprint on another gun? What do you mean? Okay, so we want an attachment of the chain. So you're going to want this dragon. That dragon, it's integral suppressed. So we're going to want to start out with one that's not. Okay, so this one will do. And a muzzle. Start out like that. Anything that's not the Integra suppressed. Go in. Go back to our same gun. SPR. Stack the barrel. Helps if we join first. Don't know what happened there. Okay, won't let us join. Don't know what it's up to. Won't let us join. But they can join us. Isn't that fucked? We can't join them, but they can join us. Why are they not joinable? I don't know, guys. It's decided just to not let us join for some fucked up reason. Why is it not joinable? What does it say? User is searching for one or more games, but they're definitely not searching for a game. This game's broken. Let's have them close. Oh, my there's a new Thor movie as well. No, no, you sh who you sound like. You sound like that's like Korg from Thor. <laughs> I am Thor. I am Thor. That is why. One can join through the regiment most of the time. Yeah, I mean, it's just being stupid. Look at this. Now I can join. Yeah, it was just being silly, that's all. I mean, don't know why. Having a hissy fit? Right, we got it sorted. Chronic, how the fuck? Lol. 
I know it's on Cold War you can get 200 levels in one game. Oh yeah, hell. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Let us know. Damn it. Oh, what's this connecting, bro? We're already online. Spam join on alt to main, then rejoin. Oh, I just had to back that alt back out to the main menu and then bring it back in for some weird reason. That worked. Okay. Too soon. Got it. Mm. That one almost felt like it should have been it. <laughs> How do you do the AFK do glitch? Um, that one I was hoping was AFK, but it didn't seem. But we got kicked, so I'm not sure if it's going to be full AFK. So you'll um, you'll be able to get your battle royale wins, but it won't be 100% AFK, unfortunately. Which I thought it was. And experience at glitching. How do you do? This glitch will only work for people who have patience. Yes, and experience for glitching, and possibly more the access to the what you need as well. So it's not for everyone, but that's also what makes it better, I guess, is because you have stuff that not everyone, even if people know how to do it, they still can't acquire it because they just don't have the endurance to endure it. Okay, so we're here and we want to equip this one, the suppressed one. So now we've got two barrels equipped on the SPR, SPR, right? We've got two barrels. We've got the non-suppressed and the suppressed. So now we need to go along and equip the monolithic suppressor, uh, suppressor back on. Well, any, any barrel, any um, muzzle. So to him. I've done this glitch on all my Vanguard guns here. Yeah. I've pretty much done everything I, I need. I don't have anything left that I need. All that's left for me is just teaching you guys. But I had the glitch for a week before I released it, so I had everything I needed before I released it. While I was learning it before I, to be able to tell you guys it and all of that stuff, playing around trying to figure out everything that it can do. Ah, oh, I stacked the wrong thing. We don't need a barrel. <laughs> Camera swap much. Done every single gun. I didn't bother doing every single gun, only because I won't ever use every single gun. <laughs> so I, I, I've done I've done most of the guns that I'd use, or guns that look cool, like have cool blueprints that look good with camos. Too 
soon. I'm gonna get back into making that tiff sound in my head. There's a timer. He beat me and Sarah and someone already asked, but there's a pretty unlikely different camo glitch will pop up, right? Uh, I can't predict the future, guys. That's the truth. In all honesty, I can't predict the future. Uh, I mean, if you guys had have asked um, two months ago if this was going to pop up, I would have said no. So, you know what I mean? We do our best to find them, but I can't predict whether or not they're there. Um, and once this gets patched, it's possible I could possibly, there's a chance I could be getting another one going. But again, it's, can't guarantee anything. It's possible there, there could be two more coming. Um, it's possible there could be an easier one. And it's also possible that there might be another one, but that's not Warzone. And then there's possible that there's one that could be Warzone. Um, it, it still depends. And it depends on how dedicated people are. Okay, so we've got the suppressor. So that should work there. Now we've got the two barrels and the suppressor equipped. Okay. Then we need to go along and remove the top barrel that we have. We want to keep the XRK to a dragon barrel. So to do that, we want to just fill it out with whatever we want. Keep the dragon and we'll get rid of this one. And there we go there. We now have an invisible barrel. Save. Let me delete my old odds just to save it for you. Save mod. Right. There you go there. Then you want to back out. Go back in. And just to be sure, Save, alter one thing on it, alter it back. Then say update modification. Then back out, unequipped it, and then you can re equip it. Okay? Be on YouTube. And now it should have no barrel in game working. Now we'll just run into game and we'll just test that for you. How do you delete custom mods without going into the armory? Just like I done just then. Hey Alex. The timing is a little wider a few with two consoles 1.5 yeah it is it's a little bit slow yeah yes but as you guys see if you've seen the earlier of the stream i done it on console first it's still possible on console it is different timing it's also different timing if you're using different light um like if you're okay guys just while we jumped in and checked that that didn't work for that it's about how you save it. Um, let's put it back on because of how we saved it. So I'd have to start again. But as you'll see, if you save it in the right way, you can get it with a um, with no barrel. So it still does work with no barrel. It was just in the way you save it. 
um, yeah. So you just got to play around with that. I mean, that's how you do it. It's just about attachments, but you just got to save it in different ways. You, yeah. So I guess I, I guess with that information there, you guys could just guess as much as me to figure out how to save it. But every gun is different. Um, the some you have to save in certain ways, and some you won't. And some guns you do fine and. Yeah, invisible barrels are annoying unless you. Yeah, especially with this glitch, I wouldn't recommend using this glitch for the invisible barrels, unless you use the ones that are on my um, tutorial that shows you how to do them. Um, and unless you want to actually try and play around with trying to make them stick like this and make them thing, it's in the order of what you do them. So. Um, once you've got an invisible barrel, you can't alter it either because otherwise it will go uninvisible, I think. So you need to put the camo on first. So if we were to alter this, I think if we alter that and then we were to create a new, see that one didn't, okay. See, once you go update, that's where you got to not do update, okay, guys? Because when you, once you do update, it brings it back. So for this gun, you don't want to do the updating. You want to just do as it is and save. And then once you've saved it as a custom blueprint, don't come back in and add it, change an attachment and say update. So what you want to do is when you build the gun, so we'll teach you guys for this. So when we build this gun, you want to build it, you want to put this first two attachments on, and then you want to go along and you want to put this attachment on, right? And then once you've got that attachment on, you'll go along and you'll want to put on another muzzle. And then you'll have two barrels and your muzzle. Then you'll go along and you'll put on your other attachments until you can take off this barrel and you've only got this barrel. Your barrel will disappear, then you can save, uh, save it as a custom mod. You'll save it and it will be fine. Don't go editing it afterwards because if you say update edit mod, that's when you'll run into those troubles. I have D A and C W. Yeah, different games. And at like two a.m. in the morning for you, man. Yeah, it is. It's ten to one in the morning i was just trying to get this out uh, the only reason i'm doing a late night one is because obviously i'm uh, i'm using um i'm using the other consoles as well which my kids would be normally using in the daytime so i'm trying to get this out for you guys while they're all asleep so i can use it all, all the consoles and that that and have quiet in that for you because i wanted to show it on um being done on xbox which meant i had to have all the xboxes what if you do a new mod and delete the old one yeah like i can show you guys this here look i'll do this again then so we've got the brand new one right so we've got this brand new one here hang on i'll just go in and i'll delete the other mod what are we doing get off this thing okay so we'll delete the mod this is how you delete one without going in delete it here Okay, so we're going to delete this one here. Just delete. Right, so we're going to start from scratch again, guys. So, we might be able to just put that on. We might get away with that for this gun. Some guns, some weapons you do. And that's where it's a bit of a, you got to play around and just guess, really. Because we might get away with just putting a straight, um suppress it straight onto this we might not have to put the other barrel on first well 
a macro no a macro won't help you at all because a macro isn't timing between the two consoles the glitch time and that's where the timing is okay so did that help okay so that didn't do it if we save that but if we save that look it does it so all we had to do so all we had to do was start with a base SPR with the dragon barrel we equipped it the monolithic suppressor right so we've got it like this but once we save a custom mod you see it's going to make it disappear so if we say no barrel one no barrel one save bang it's got no barrel so we back out of here we come off here we cook the different weapon we come back and then we equipped it no barrel one bang we equip that and then we can go in and we'll be able to play and we'll have no barrel see so some if every gun guys is different okay and you just got to play around with it to work it out so that's the spr all we had to do was equip that one barrel and then equip the the muzzle that suppressor and then to make it go invisible we had to save it as a mod so every gun has its own combination you just got to figure it out i mean as you've seen there it didn't take long for us to figure it out we figured it out but that's what it is and we'll go on game and that will have an invisible barrel but as i say the more i'm doing it the faster I'm getting at doing it. And as you sit there doing it, you'll get better at better at it. So over a course of a day, you'll be able to get your entire inventory done. Unless you're trying to do it with other people, in which it's a nightmare. And there we have no barrel SPR. Suppressing the suppressor. Is there a new monomorphia blueprint glitch? Um blueprint glitch well this pretty much is that you can the only thing you can't pull with this is the tracer and the inspect part of the weapon the soul of the weapon but you can get all the cool um variant oh, yeah. the um cool looking attach variant looking attachments anybody know if i could equip the paid throwing knives with b-man's method Oh, hey, throwing knives. I don't think so. Um, can I show the camera swap? Yeah, we'll put it onto this. Eh? We'll camera swap this. DM Ultra onto this. And Dark Aether. Here we go. So, we've got it equipped there. Come to you. The Cold War weapon, Black Ops. It's not a blue hunt, so it's because you don't actually pull the full function. Yeah, but I mean, you're still getting cool looking guns if you want to. You can build a cool blueprint out of it though, is what we're saying. Like you can get a, you can, I could start with this. I could start with this gun and then you could go along and you could equip the cool looking, well obviously that doesn't look anything, but you get what I mean. You could make it look cool just out of variant using attachments from variants. You can change the look of an entire gun and make a gun look cool and look like a variant 
just by putting cool looking attachments on it obviously this is a bad example i'm just using whatever random shit we can fucking run into in the in the menu system here but you can build variants and then save it as a thing and have your own free variant looking gun from stuff so in a way you can so in that way it's a blueprint glitch If you can equip the this in custom game without owning it, I own everything. So you'll be able to, you'll see these because I own them. But I don't know whether you can equip them in custom game by not owning them. Actually, I'll be able to tell you in a split second. Hang on, the other console here um, doesn't own them. Yes, you can. Crack up. Yes, you can. Hang on, guys. Um, get this out of the way. Okay, we'll go back to the, now this is the, um, Xbox. But yeah, as you see here, we have the Pale Bottomless and the Electric Flame Throwing Knife. And if we go online... They're all locked. So let's give it a go. I'll give it a go from the Xbox. Okay, so we want to come into here. This will be interesting. Man, the timing's way off. I was able to open the menu up a hundred times before it went through. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to get this timing on the console right now because my timing's too set for the PC. Um, yeah. I'm not even going to bother doing that right now. I'll um, have a look at that into that uh, tomorrow, I guess. But you guys can have a look at that and that, and I'll let you guys know on the Discord and that too in the morning. But um, it might be like the Recticles, where once you open up the screen, it brings it updates that screen, and they might be locked, and you might not be able to equip them. But it's also possible that it won't be, and you will be able to equip them. So if it's like the perks, they will it'll go to a blank screen there, and you won't actually be able to equip them. But yeah, um, I'll try and do it just from the PC because my time is a hundred times better on the PC. But it's not really going to show you much. It'll show you whether or not it goes blank, though. Which is what we need to see. I didn't think I could do it on console. Yeah, I 
I mean, I, I've shown that it can be done on console, but it's just the timing thing. It's going from the PC time, swapping between them, t t the timing missing, it's just, yeah. It's so hard, it's not funny. Okay, I think that's gonna work. I'll update you guys. If that works, I'll update you guys in the Discord, eh? But honestly, if it stacks, we're not gonna know any different because I have everything unlocked officially. So from this profile, you wouldn't even know. When is, cor when is the correct time on console? Yeah, as you see, you know, I'm not even going to bother because I don't know the correct timing myself. I just have to try and figure it out. And it's just a matter of... of... Yeah, getting it and not getting it. The timing, yeah. Pretty much how to find the timing is if you spam and it doesn't open up so if you're saying you're here and you're spamming on this and this screen opens up so if you're on here trying to spam up this and this screen opens up and then it goes off and then you go into the the mode screen it goes off and you're on this screen you know that you clicked too soon and then to click a little bit later next time so take note of how fast you're doing it the gap that you're doing it in between each one and adjust that gap and then if it doesn't bring it up at all you know okay that amount of gap is too big and that's too long because if it doesn't bring up anything it's too long what you're trying to do is bring it up at the very very minor last frame and when it brings it up, when it's swapping things. If you bring it up too soon, it'll bring it up and then it'll close it. If you bring it, if you're clicking too late, it won't even bring it up. If you click, click just right, it'll bring it up and it won't swap you into this screen, it'll just bring it up, okay? So the only way to find it is to adjust your timing if you uh, buy the screen of when you bring it up. If you bring it up and it goes away, you know you're really close, but you just gotta do it the tiniest little bit slower. <laughs> and then if you do it a little bit slower and it doesn't come up at all you know you adjusted it a little bit too much <laughs> yeah don't be that dude that in his mind changes his timing but doesn't change it and does the same timing every time I saw in the beginning of the vid that you had got an all blueprint attachment on your own using the carbon what blueprint would you use have attachments on the carbon I didn't get them all no, 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 don't get that wrong, okay? Um, this here, I use this carbon only to pull the stock. So when you come on to... But the main majority look of that variant is just the stock. The stock makes the whole look of that gun. So if we go to this gun and we equip this, the whole gun is that stock, if we go to it. So this, all this is really if we remove everything else those are just things I've added just to make it usable but the entire look of this gun is just that stock that we've added on and the silencer but that silencer isn't even off that isn't even off that variant. It's off another variant from the shop. That silencer doesn't come from this variant. They just looked really cool, so I found it and I put it on too. But the only th part that this gun is looks like that from is from that one stock. Otherwise, it's just the base Owen gun with obsidian on it. So we got the stock off that other gun, off this gun and put it on link to my discord you'll find it in the description of nearly every one of my videos mate most of my videos have the link to my discord server and equipped any attachments you want since they are all unlocked in private match yes if you have any gun locked 
you can just go along and equip any attachment off it so like this one here you can fully customize it like you see here we've got to fully customize because in custom games as you said yes chronic they're all unlocked in custom games now one thing we could test out no they don't work i was going to say recticles but they don't work So yeah guys, do that that clash. If you get a win in clash, you'll get a battle royale win. So as you guys see, this profile here has has look it says it's got battle royale wins, 295, but in reality, um Warzone wins. Battle Royale wins. It's only got 17 battle royale wins. And BR so yeah hey let's go i want to try out that camo swap um where is it? MW HDR Grassy Knoll. Okay. We want to go Vanguard. Cool event. Join. Event. Oops. Wrong controller, wrong Xbox. And there we go, we have that. But as you guys see, you get better at it. You get better at it and more fluid, more fluent. And you guys seen I was struggling with it at the start and now we don't really have trouble. Uh, you get more and more fluent the more you do it. So don't give up. You're only gonna find it more and more easier the longer you stick at it. That looks interesting. So yeah guys, I'm gonna leave that at that guys. So I hope that's helped you guys out. That's everybody sorted on knowing what they need to do for everything. And yeah guys, you guys got any questions on that? Jump on into the Discord. Check out the Discord guys. The link will be in the description of nearly all of my videos. I'll catch you guys up in there. And I'm gonna have to end it there because it's late and I'm gonna catch the bed. <laughs> But appreciate all of you guys that stopped in. And yeah, appreciate you guys. With that said, smash that like button for me on your guys' way out. And have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys in the videos. Be man.